Greetings everyone. Uh, in uh, this video, we'll be talking about MDM 10.4 Task Manager. So today's topic is uh, what is new in uh, Task Manager UI in 10.4. Uh, what are so in order to use uh, new features uh, in task manager uh, 10.4 there are some configuration changes needed from provisioning tool and hub console we'll be discussing about that manage multiple tasks that is one of the key feature in the uh, in task manager 10.4 we'll be talking about that there are some api uh, api new apis available for task management in 10.4 that will be covering too so before we move to uh, task ma task manager UI part, there are few key concepts that we need to understand. Uh, first one is type of users. So uh, in new, in order to use the new task manager UI, so for users we can have like three scenarios. First one is business users. Business users are nothing but the potential owners, like where tasks are assigned to. Once they log in, they see task and they, uh, if they want to take action, they assign those tasks to their queue and take regular approve reject actions. Next one is by administrative users. Administrative users are something that concept is new in 10.4 where they log in, to, uh, log into the UI, and they can, they have capability to assign uh, assign task to uh, uh, some other user release task to the uh, to the queue uh, so those kind of administrative actions they can take third one is hybrid users that is nothing but combination of above two so there might be scenarios where a few users they will have capability of both where they can do administrative action as well as they have capability of taking actual action like you know where they can approve or reject a task uh, system uh, at runtime decide what role and type you have so when you uh, uh, so admin users like you know uh, it's not like all users can take all actions when admin users try to take like uh, any action for business users system at runtime uh, uh, find out okay this user is not appropriate so it will not allow that action another uh, thing uh, admin users cannot see the actual task data they have only capability to see the task overview and they, they have they can take certain action like uh, release uh, claim etc task manager ui feature in 10.4 first one uh, most important manage multiple tasks where system gives you ability where you can select multiple tasks and take a, uh, take a action on them so this was something now that was not available in older builds and one of the this is one of the key feature uh, in 10.4 second one there are two types of view we have come up with two types of view uh, uh, first one is grid view and this is a default view uh, for administrative users when they log in there are APIs which have when you log in through APIs we know what kind of user roles you have if you are administrator the default view you see as a grid where you will not have visibility to task details only the task overviews you will have access task detail view this is for business users where they want to see the actual details of the task uh, in order to you know if they want to claim if or they want to take uh, any action around it another key feature in 10.4 is build and apply filters so now uh, there are filters available at different level at task level and the entity level what you do you select all filters uh, uh, once you select all, all filters and then you hit apply and then uh, based on all filters what you have selected system gives you a response with the selected uh, selected data set as I mentioned, like you have capability of managing multiple tasks at the same time. So what you do, like you select multiple tasks, uh, multiple tasks, and you can uh, your system can take a common action on that. Now I move to demo section. I have logged into MDM Hub, and if you see in rules, I have uh, I have defined two new rules: uh, AB admin. AB admins. These rules are something defined on Activa side as for business administrator. If we are new to that concept, I have law, uh, I have opened one of the. If you want to open any of the process, 
if you see here there is concept in active was there is a concept of business administrator and this is this role what i have defined in nvm hub it is nothing but coming from there so basically the roles defined on active was side as business administrator those as a cell role we have defined it in the mdm side so i created these roles so next what i have done like i have few users if you see uh, in my presentation i talked about different kind of users you can have i have so all combinations here the first one admin uh, admin user is basically a hybrid user where it has like regular uh, task uh, uh, potential owner roles as well as task administrative role Senior manager has is only business users who has capability of claiming task and approving and rejection. T admin, this is my task administrative user who has only task administrative related roles. Next thing is I have logged into provisioning tool, and in provisioning tool, if you uh, go to uh, go to task, there is a new in the drop down you see a new action, uh, option called task administrative role. In task administrator, what you do uh, from the drop down MDM roles, you select AB admin, save that change, and publish it. So, in that way, MDM, uh, MDM and Activos, they will know okay, so system we have enabled task administra administrator role. Now, uh, I have logged into my E360 application, and if you see uh, in MDM Hub, I created a uh, task administrator role. T admin and I have added, I logged in as that user. So if I go, if I log in and if I go to task manager with administrator role and if I go to available task, the view what I am going to see that is a, that as I mentioned, uh, as I mentioned in the presentation, task administrator with a task administrator role, I cannot, I am not supposed to have access to the task detail. So that's why that's where so what system does it gives you the default grid view, uh, grid view, and uh, yeah, that is something like we have uh, on the API there when you log in at the API in the runtime we we do a check what kind of a user it is if it is a administrative if this user had administrative uh, role only then by default it populates at the runtime it populates the grid view. But if you want to do, if you want to do change, if you want to say like, no, I want to see the details, you can always click uh, uh, details. But uh, if you see right now, I change the view to task details. But you see, as expected, it says like, you know, you do not have permission to see the task detail. And uh, that is correct because right now the user I have logged in, this user has only task administrative role. Now I have logged in as a senior manager one. Senior manager is one of the potential owner for the task in my system. So I click on task manager. And <coughs> if I click on available task, by default, the view you see, I'm seeing the task detail view. And uh, the task what I have in my system as uh, uh, senior, uh, senior manager is potential part of a uh, potential owner. So I see all the task detail here. Now, we, uh, before we move to multiple, uh, taking action on multiple tasks, I quickly wanted to show you the uh, filter option. You click on filter. Here you see, as I said, like, you know, filters are available on the uh, task and the business entity level. First, I'm saying, what is my task type? So you select uh, some specific task type and then you say business entity. So business entity, I select person. So you first, once you select all the filters, then you click on apply and based on the filters, what you have selected, it gives you the result. And if I do not want to use any filters, you can always go ahead and uh, do the clear option. It will remove all applied filters. So now we'll quickly check uh, uh, claim uh, taking action on multiple tasks. Now you see like I have few tasks here. I selected uh, selected three of them. And these three, you see the number what you select here, it show, showed up like, okay, three tasks has been selected. Now I want to take a common action for all these tasks, okay? So 
once I click here, you see the different options like assign, claim, and edit. For now, I will say uh, uh, let's go ahead and claim this task. So you see it is saying if operation is successful, you see a successful message. And if it is, if it fails for any of the task you'll have on the notification bar, you'll have a detailed message saying this action has failed and because of this reason. So now you see like available task, I have five, five tasks. And as I claimed, three tasks has come in my queue. Right? So what I'm going to do, I select all these three action, three tasks and uh, now uh, I select all three claim tasks. I select it uh, from my assigned task. I say, okay, I do not want to take uh, action of this. Uh, this. Uh, so what I do, I click on release. So release, as I say, test and release. So what will happen, all this task will be put back again in the queue. So now you see like assigned task becomes zero. And if I click on available task, what system has done, uh, it has put back all this task in the queue again. Similarly, you select multiple task and you, if you want to take some other action, you want to edit something. In the edit option, you see there are different options here. Uh, here. Uh, you can change the priority, a uh, due date for all this task. And also, <clears throat> also if you want to do some file attachment or something, those common action you can take. For now, what I'll do, I will try to change the tri uh, priority. And I will say, I will change the due date. Maybe I will say, make due date as, and if I save it. And yeah, once uh, action is successful, you will <coughs> you will see the due date has changed for all tasks. Also, I wanted to show you the how task manager shows as task administrator. So right now, see again, I have logged in as T admin, and I go to task manager, and I select few of the tasks from here, and I say like you know I want to do the maybe. I will, I will say like, okay, uh, claim. I want to claim this task. Now, if you see, it has saying like it has failed and reason being very obvious. And it is saying, if you if you remember for T admin, I did not, it's not part of a potential owner. And you see it showing a detailed message here. Okay, it's not a potential owner for this, this task. So this is not appropriate action. But of course, uh, if uh, as an administrator, if you want to select some task and if you want to, uh, if you if you want to assign it to some other user, uh, definitely system uh, says as administrator you are supposed to uh, you can do that, and system will allow you. So next is uh, task management related APIs. So. So you see this URL, uh, HTTP or HTTPS, host port, CMX task operation, the, uh, the ORS ID. This is the URL, uh, this is the REST call that is introduced in 10.4 to do uh, bulk uh, task action. It is a REST based call. It is not a business entity uh, based call, but yeah, it, it, it's a separate REST call that, that you can use to take uh, different bulk action on task. So what are so using this API? What are the what all features it has? It can act on multiple tasks uh, in one interaction. You can perform a common action like you know claim, release, edit. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, so operations operations the capability what it has you can do a claim, release, assign, edit, the uh, action uh, for uh, putting who are the potential owner. Uh, we can. Uh, we can perform these uh, various options uh, for operations. We'll quickly move to a demo for the API. So I have moved to uh, 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 move to Postman, where we, I'll be firing some rest, uh, rest calls for the bulk task action. The first one is claim. So if you see, uh, I formed a post call, and this is the uh, yeah, uh, this is the uh, URL what I'm using. And in the body, in the it's a, in the JSON body, if you see, we are passing all the all the task uh, task uh, three task ID and operation type. This is very important. 
so this is something decides like what kind of call it is what kind of call, uh, what action we are taking basically here if you see the operation op type is claim so basically what we are trying to do the request i'm i am i have put uh, admin admin the default id so basically what should happen uh, if this call is successful this all three tasks should be claimed by uh, claimed by admin and you see a valid response uh, response here so you see if i fired this call and if you see the status is completed that means uh, the claim operation is successful all these three tasks has been uh, claimed by admin if you come back to the ui i have logged in as admin if you see the my assigned task the task what is just now i claimed uh, just now i claimed it is showing under my assigned so this claimed is this all three task is now pending with admin user so this is uh, next call uh, this is uh, similar uh, similar and similar url of post call task type id is like remain same and now what i'm trying to do i'm trying to do a release so if this call is successful earlier this same three task uh, i tried to claim by admin user now what i'm trying to do i'm trying to release all the tasks so if this call is successful i should see a valid response and uh, yeah so i'll go ahead and fire this call and you see it is saying all this status is complete that means all three tasks is now released uh, from admin and the system has put it back uh, in the queue again i have come back to the ui and here if you see like uh, i have come to assign my as admin user assign task has become zero and available task uh, if you see all the three tasks what i just now i tried to release it has come back to the available task that means it has come back to the queue now the next call what i'm trying to do uh, trying to do if you see the op type is assigned i'm trying to as a business administrator i'm as trying to assign this all three tasks uh, i've logged in so the id what i'm using is admin id but i'm not trying to assign it to myself i'm not trying to claim those tasks i'm trying to assign it to senior manager and uh, yeah this is the these are the same tasks what i earlier tried to claim and then release i'll go ahead and fire this call So you see, out of these three, two has successful. Uh, uh, one of them, like you know, it's uh, it failed uh, because if you see a valid response, it is saying uh, senior manager for this one uh, eight to five. It's saying like uh, put a senior manager is not the potential owner, one of the potential owner. That is where it is not allowing to do that. But rest of the other two tasks, it allowed me. So these three uh, this gives you a valid response and from here itself you can you can see uh, task uh, task has been processed or it if it has any issues it gives you a valid uh, valid uh, error message that is all we wanted i wanted to cover as part of uh, this video thanks for your time